Can I help you? Uh, yes, I'd like to get the uh, Adams Family favorites, the uh, Wednesday Whopper, okay. the Things Rings. What size? Um, medium's fine. Okay. Also the uh, Morticia Kooky Chocolate Shake. We are out of the Morticia Shake. Oh, okay. How about? Churro fries. And you're out of churro fries. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I guess I'll take the two that you've got. All right, anything else? No, that's it. Hey guys, welcome to your Adventure Compass. Today I was hoping to do a complete review on all of the Burger King Adams Family tie-in food for Halloween. Unfortunately, you just heard that, they're out of the shake and they're out of the churro fries. But that doesn't mean we're completely out of luck. It just kind of changes my video a little bit for today. So we're gonna try and stop later on after we have the Whopper and the onion rings, which honestly the onion rings, as I've heard from many people, are no different than your standard onion rings. They're called thing rings though for Halloween. Um, I thought it would be interesting if they had made them smaller to look like uh, rings that you put on your fingers or you know somehow colored them or put some something spicy on them i thought that would have been good but uh they just changed the name <laughs> so we're gonna try those uh and the whopper which i think the only difference in the whopper as far as flavor goes is the swiss cheese instead of the american cheese and we'll see i'll talk about that a little bit too when we try it but uh, let's go get our food Thank you. All right, guys. Well, here we are. We have our Wednesday Whopper. It's uh, it's purple, <laughs> and it's got uh, white cheese. Now, if you remember, I said I was going to explain what my theory was on that white cheese. I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, before this gets too cold, because it is a little bit chilly out here, I want to give it a shot and see how it tastes. It's pretty much like a regular Whopper. Um, there's not a lot of difference between your standard Whopper and this one. You guys can uh, see the inside here. It just looks like a regular Whopper, except it's got Swiss cheese on it. And uh, so my theory on the Swiss cheese, the, uh, the Wednesday character, um, and also the, uh, the original cartoon, Original cartoon, black and white, right? White. Uh, the Wednesday Whopper, Wednesday from the uh, Netflix TV show. Uh, Wednesday has a lot of purple in her outfit. I believe it's uh, it's like a dark plum color striped with white. And that is my guess for the, uh, the reason for the white cheese as opposed to purple and orange, which are traditionally Halloween colors. So, that's my guess on that. Um, it's a good Whopper. I mean, if you like Whoppers, it's it's good. It's got black sesame seeds on the bun. Um, and my understanding is, is this was uh, colored with potato, purple potatoes, which I believe are known as ube. Uh, very popular in, uh, in Japan. In fact, you can buy uh, Japanese uh, desserts called ube cakes made with basically purple potatoes and it's just a coloring um, doesn't seem to have any potato flavor just tastes like a regular bun and uh, I don't uh, I don't think that'll be any problem at all it is good uh, the other thing I I did get here in the bag are the uh, thing rings let's pull those out of the bag real quick here and they are just simply onion rings with rebranding that says thing rings on them so it's uh, it's not a big deal and uh, you know, is what it is. But if you're gonna eat something that's themed Halloween, Adam's family, I thought what better place to do it than in a graveyard, cemetery, right? Um, and don't worry, I'm not set up on top of anybody's plot or anything like that. I'm just kind of here, um, you know, doing my thing, having my lunch. And there's actually other people I saw coming in over towards the entrance doing the same thing. They're in their car. I'm on the, the grass, but I'm not uh, not set up on anybody's gravesite. So just, just to be aware. 
So uh, I really want to try the churro fries and the uh, Morticia chocolate shake, right? They sold out of them. They said they're out. Now, did they not order enough? Did they, you know, just sell that good? I've heard other people have the same issue. They can't seem to find this anywhere. I am going to try later on. We're going to go over to another city uh, a little bit later this evening. There's a Burger King over there, and I'm going to try and see if I can get those when I go there. I hope I can, because I'd love to share my opinion on those. Those are a little more original than this, I think. I, I don't remember Burger King ever having churro fries, so we'll see how that goes. And the shake, I'm kind of interested. This is a chocolate shake, but, you know, let's give it a shot. Well, I'm going to go ahead and eat my Whopper and my uh, Thing Rings. So guys, you might be wondering, what did this Whopper and onion rings cost? The price of fast food is pretty high these days. This was $10.79 for a Whopper and some onion rings. Probably because it's a themed Whopper, and I'm kind of dripping it all over myself, but um, I guess that's an indication that it's good. It's not like the, the Whoppers last year, those uh, ghost pepper Whoppers, amazing flavor. Absolutely loved them. Not, not too spicy. They're a little spicy, but not too spicy. Only problem with those, they're very dry. I was hoping they were going to do those again this year. And my plan was, okay, if they do them again, I'm going to go ahead and bring some chipotle sauce or something to put on the Whopper. Instead, we got the Wednesday Whopper. It's pretty looking, but it's nothing special. So if you haven't had it, I mean, sure, go ahead and try it, but don't expect anything spectacular. It's just a Whopper with Swiss cheese instead. It tastes good, but it's a Whopper. So guys, one of the other things I wanted to talk to you about, it's Halloween season. I know I haven't done a lot of Halloween videos. Trust me, I've, I've been trying. I've been trying. It's been a pretty, pretty difficult season for me. Um, I bought some tickets to a Halloween event it takes place every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's taking place um, from the first week of October all the way through the end of October. I am going to be doing that. Uh, I plan to do that the first weekend. However, unfortunately, uh, it was not in the cards for me. I ended up getting bronchitis. <laughs> and uh, that doesn't bode very well for a video. When you're trying to speak and talk to the camera and uh, you have to talk. It's not easy to do when your lungs are constantly forcing you to cough or your voice doesn't sound right. So that's over and done with. But as soon as that ended, my wife got it and then my daughter got it. She's just getting over it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this Sunday we'll be going to do that video. You guys will be seeing that next week. I'm looking forward to this one because it's a really, really cool uh, kind of a walkthrough that we're going to. And I don't want to give too much away, but it's, it's a good video. You guys will definitely enjoy that, I'm sure. You guys probably noticed that I am wearing a Munsters shirt today. Unfortunately, I don't have an Adams Family shirt. It's my second favorite uh, Monster Family, of course, Munsters. I did try contacting two different haunts, one of which I was really hoping we could get into. And um, I asked them if I could film because I don't, I don't want to show up at a place just assuming I can film and then they say, hey, you can't do that in here or they, you know, it's just not worth it, you know. I always want to do things the right way. Ask, hey, can I do this? It's much easier to get permission and sometimes if you do it right, you get permission and they'll even give you some extras you know they'll maybe take you places you normally wouldn't be able to see or things you wouldn't be able to do um, and one of those is the case with one of the locations i was looking to film unfortunately it didn't work out this year but they told me to contact them in early september of next year and they could possibly work something out where we could come down in the middle of september it is a very, very large property with, I believe, six different haunts. Um, supposed to be the best in Michigan, so possibly next year I'm going to put that on my calendar. Oddly enough, I mentioned that the uh, 
thing rings would be cool if they were ring sized, right? Well, I got down to the bottom and believe it or not, they are all very small and very ring sized. So, okay, it, your kids might appreciate that. I don't know if this is a fluke, but uh, it looks like most of them are much smaller towards the bottom here. So um, your kids might like that. You know, it's something to, if, if you don't mind them playing with their food. Thing rings. <laughs> well guys, I do apologize for the very short video this week. I do promise the next one will be better. It'll be longer and it'll be a lot more themed out. So be sure to watch that one next week. If I do have luck finding those churro fries or the Morticia chocolate shake at the other Burger King, I'll insert that footage right here. All right, guys, good news. We went to the other Burger King and guess what? Sitting right there waiting for me is the shake and they also have the churro fries. So we'll get to try both of these in just a moment. Well, guys, we did it. We managed to get the uh, Morticia's cookie chocolate shake. And uh, I also got the uh, churro fries. It just worked out. We stopped at the other BK. It's later in the day. Uh, obviously, I've changed clothes. You know, I forgot to show you guys, too. I had the Munster shirt on earlier. But what I didn't show you is that I did theme out my watch at the very least. None of you guys can see that it's themed out for Wednesday. Um, did the purple. So I did have a little theming going on. Uh, just to show you guys, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this real quick. Let me turn the face track off so you guys can see what's going on here. All right, looking down inside this shake, check that out. There's like cookies of some sort, like some sort of crumbled cookies, and they're both like chocolatey and also purple. So not quite sure what the heck they put in there, but uh, it does look pretty good. Let's try this out. All right, got a straw, got my shake. I think it's just crushed Oreo. Let's try it just on the straw here. It doesn't have a specific flavor. It just tastes like crushed Oreo. But it's good. And the shake is just a traditional chocolate shake. You can see there's some chocolate down in the bottom there. It is good. Just what you'd expect for a fast food chocolate shake, right? A little cookie crumble on top. Nothing... Nothing spectacular except for the uh, Morticia cartoon version there on the front. So, not bad. Let's try out these churro fries and see how they are. All right, now we've got the churro fries. Now, these are a little bit different because this is not something they normally carry. So, I'm kind of excited to try these. And guess what? They come with a chocolate dipping sauce. So, let's open these up. I'll pull one out so you guys can see this. Look, they look like uh, little mini churros, right? A little bit bigger than a French fry, maybe uh, about the same size as a steak fry, like a bigger cut fry. These are good. I see why the other store was sold out. They just taste like churros. Really good. If they put these on the menu, they'd sell the heck out of these. If this was a permanent thing. Oh yeah, really good. All right, now I'm gonna try one with some of the chocolate sauce. See how that is. Ooh. It's thicker than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like, like chocolate syrup, but it's not. That's really good. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a good thing they don't have these on the menu all the time. They're really good. So, guys, I'm really happy that I got to show you all of the new holiday-themed stuff at Burger King. We had to do two of them, but we got it all. And... Uh, to be honest with you, I think the second round is much better than the first round earlier, even though I themed it out really well. Like those churros, and the shake's really good too. So the dessert round, we'll call it. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I apologize for this short video. It's been a rough couple of weeks here at the beginning of October. Promise it's gonna get better. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to click on that compass so you can get subscribed and watch more great content just like this. And remember, adventure is just a short drive away.